Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be looking at my Volcane uh, Aviator Instrument. This is a very lovely chronograph. I'll put the specs up right over here on the left as we talk about it a little bit. This is a very nice chronograph and this comes in at least three different colors. White, blue, and this brown, and, and I think black too. Maybe four different colorways. This um, chronograph is discontinued, but I picked it up because it was one of my um, favorite chronographs. And the thing I like about it is the way they put the watch together and how beautiful the asymmetrical design theme uh, is always is carried along uh, with the watch. Now, the first thing we're going to do before I pull measurements, let's just look at it and look at that lovely domed sapphire crystal. See that? That's a high dome crystal. You don't get a lot of distortion, so I'm, I'm guessing it's a double dome. It's really beautiful. You get a sapphire back showing the Valjoux 7753 that is tuned up by Volcane. And this watch is just takes asymmetrical to the extreme and it makes it look normal. So I'm going to move in just a little bit and we can take a look at some of those things okay if you look over here on the side the first thing you notice are the buttons they're all different you have your stop start uh, chronograph button up here at two o'clock and that is round then you have your lovely crown the Vulcan signed crown That's at 3 o'clock. And then you have your reset pusher, which is kind of like a shoe pusher. It looks like the bottom of a, a shoe. You see how it's square here, and then it's rounded off at the end? Almost looks like a shoe print. And that's your reset button. Now, that right there is just an unbalanced type look. But, it, but they pull it all together because they put the, the um, totalizers over here towards the right and as you can see at 12 o'clock you have a 12 o'clock sign then you have one then you have two three and four are missing because of this 30 minute totalizer right here they're missing and it's pushed over towards the right normally where like a date box goes so they have the date box at six o'clock with the 12 hour totalizer down here and Swiss made takes the place of the six. They have a five. Then on the right side, you have a seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. All these are, I believe, they're 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 painted on uh, indices, and they have a lot of loom, and it's it's pretty cool. This watch is pretty cool when it looms up. Now, outboard of the dial, you have a slanted rehaul with concentric circles going around there and you also have concentric circles in this uh, totalizer and you have different finishes so on the outside you get kind of a little bit of a stadium effect see how it's tilted then you have the 60 seconds track on the outside you have a dotted track slotted track on the um, inside of that part of the rehold then it goes down to the dial then you have one two three separate layers on a dial and then you have a cutout over here and I don't know if you're noticing that cutout it's moving okay that right there is to let you know that your watch is running now if you look at that window you'll see it's kind of like a Barbara candy cane stripe moving that is your running seconds And the only way you can tell you're at 12 or 6 o'clock is when it turns totally white. And then you'll know you're at the 12 or 6 right now. And that's when you would hack it to get the precise uh, seconds on there. So I think that's pretty awesome right there. You have a, um, you have a white uh, date wheel with uh, black printing. That's nice. And look how they flowed through 
if you look at the case, the case has lovely radio brushing going around. The polishing on this watch is A1. You have beautiful vertical brushing. You have a pusher here because on the 7753, there's no, uh, when you pull the crown out, there's no uh, date stop. You only pull it out once to set the time. And this right here is the advanced the date in case you encounter a irregular uh, date. That's what that one's for. Now, the hands are uh, cathedral type hands, which is cool. And you have the Vulcan uh, logo. Um, it's it's going to be a... a Printed Vulcan printed, and then the logo is going to be applied, and that's also beautiful. Now I'll pull some readings off of this with the with the um, time grapher and also the dimensions. But uh, before I do that, let's do a loom shot because I want to show you something that you don't really get on a lot of watches um, um, chronographs. And this has a fully loomed uh, second hand. And I'll start the chrono. You see that second hand? You got a fully loomed second hand. That's not something that you really see. And also, the running seconds, that's also fully loomed too. So I just thought that was interesting and really nice looking that you get a fully loomed uh, second hand. Now this watch is not equipped with a vertical clutch um, um, or a column wheel, and but it's still for some reason it has a really nice pusher feel. You come down, you push it, real positive engagement. You get a slight jitter because you don't have that vertical clutch. And then the reset, it's positive. You can hear the audible click. And then, see? So it's, it's, it's a real nice watch when it comes to uh, Volcane tuning it up. Now let's look at the um, dimensions real quick. You have a lug to lug of just about uh, 51. And this is called the AVA in instrument. A a AVA watches are always a little uh, bigger. They're, they're meant to be. And this is uh, just a little bit over 15 millimeters thick. The band size uh, is 22. And that tapers down to about 19. You have a real uh, lovely signed uh, Vulcan class it's a twin trigger deployant and you have two different finishes on there you have a polish and then you have a brush with the Vulcan logo engraved in there you have really nice perlaging look at that a nice engine turning on the clasp that's a little added touch this is a really soft and supple band which uh it's it's bolstered and it and it um, tapers down real nice and flows with the case when it's on your wrist. So it, it, it's really comfortable. Now on the back, you get a sapphire crystal. You get aviator instrument on the rotor. The rotor is designed to look like a, a wheel of an old-fashioned airplane. Um, you get 100 uh, meters of uh, water resistance with this one, or maybe it's 50. Let me see. See if I can find it. Made in Switzerland. No, 10 atmospheres. You get 100 meters of water resistance, but um, with the, without this being screwed down. So that's pretty cool. And um, um, now I'll, I'll put it on the uh, time grapher, and we'll see what it's going to do on that. So let's fire the time grapher up.
we'll see what this runs. Okay, it just pops up six seconds a day, 310 degrees on amplitude. Be there for uh, 0.4 milliseconds, 52 degree lift angle, and um, and it's beating at 28,800 vibrations. So it's running really good in uh, the flat up desktop position. And the one thing I like about a quicker beat rate of 28,800, the movement settles in a little quicker than normal than a slower beat. Um, it doesn't really matter if it's slow or fast. They they both can be tuned up to be uh, uh, really accurate. And this one seems to be running just fine. Now, getting back to the finishing, you have this lovely um, brushing on the side, which is uh, vertical instead of side to side. You see that brushing on there? And you have the lovely, lovely case on this watch that is only Vulcan can do. And you see the brushing continues even underneath by the, uh, the uh, edge of the band. You still get that same brushing. And you get real nice turned down lugs. You get a clear, definitive um, line when it when it changes over from polish to brushing, you see how polished it is. And then the brushing is just stellar. You have uh, radio brushing going around the bezel. And you have this all this nice edge, coin edge they put on here. It reminds me of um, a work that uh, Breguet does. Even along next to the crown, in between the crown, you can see the vertical brushing is continued there and you have the Vulcan logo you have a little star in the middle for the pump pusher see that little star right there it's like you can take it off with a tool and that has some kind of aviation type theme on there too I, I can kind of tell and that dial and a syringe type uh, hands are just beautiful and I think this is the most uh, beautiful color colorway of all of them is, is this chocolate so it's real nice this is one of my favorite watches and you don't get a lot get to see a lot of volcanoes you know this is the watch that um, this brand that the cricket is the first alarm watch and they beat uh, uh, who is it um, I want to say JLC, um, it's a Jager Lecoult in, in, in putting the alarm in. It's the first watch brand ever to have uh, the audible alarm as a Vulcan. And it was the Cricket, and since they gave one of the presidents this watch, I think all the presidents um, have, have got them. Interesting history, you should look them up. But this is the Vulcan Aviator Instrument. Chronograph, tell me what you guys think about this. Lovely watch, lovely value. You can pick these up for between two and four thousand dollars. And it's just something that if you can add this to collection, to your collection, I guarantee you won't regret it. Anyway, that's the Vulcan um Vulcan Aviator Instrument. My name is Biggie. That's the watch once over for this week. I'll talk to you guys later. God bless and have a great one.